name is Caitlin if you're new here and I'm super excited to be sharing today's vlog with you because I'm actually in Montana and if you've been here before you'll have seen my Montana vlog from the winter time so I'll link that up above but I'm super excited because I've been to Montana many times my parents live here but I haven't actually gotten a chance to share it with you on my YouTube channel in the summer so the point of today's video is I really want to be able to share with you guys some information if you're interested in visiting Whitefish Montana or Glacier National Park I'm gonna kind of be doing like a walkthrough of what to expect what this looks like and I do want to say before I really get into the video I will be having several blog posts linked down below because basically I'm not here for a very long time and I am enjoying family time as well but because my parents live here and I've been to Glacier so many times I have like a huge backlog of photos from up to like five years ago my mom's here so I'm like checking with her to make sure that my timing is right but I have like so many photos from like multiple hikes and so if there's something that I don't cover in this vlog because I, whether I don't have the time or the weather's not good or you just want more information about Glacier and Whitefish and visiting Montana, go ahead and check out those blog posts down below because they will be way more informative. I actually I would just really highly suggest that you check them out in general because my blog is new. Just to provide some context if you're wondering where I am specifically, my mom and I are in Glacier National Park and in the background here is St. Mary's Lake. St. Mary's Lake and Wild Goose Island is that little island right there. And so I'll put photos on the side that we just took here. Unfortunately, most of the park is pretty cloudy right now because it is September, but it's still really beautiful. So I think we're gonna go get burritos now. Do you want burritos? <laughs> <laughs> so I think this is, no, this is not your first time on my vlog, right? No, I no. think so. I think Montana in the winter. In the winter, yeah. My mom made drinks in my Montana in the winter vlog. Um, but today was basically just meant to be like a, just like a, like a drive-through. Yeah, like the concept, what's going on in the park. Yeah, exactly. Where like do we want to go tomorrow? Right, yeah, because the weather this week is kind of all over the place. So stay tuned to see more shots in the park. And I'm hoping I can get some like nice like restaurant suggestions in this week too. Again, be sure to check out that blog post down in the description down below for way more information that I'll probably be able to provide. made this really clear when I picked up the camera earlier but today's trip was just sort of meant to be like checking out the park because we knew the weather wasn't gonna be that great we were thinking about hiking but we also weren't willing to wake up super early so a lot of the times in Glacier you do need to wake up pretty early to actually get parking and to have a good hiking experience if you don't want to have like a ton of people on the trail with you but unfortunately Gringo's where we normally get burritos is closed for the season but we're stopping at Josephine's Speakeasy which is just outside of West Glacier and we've never been here before my mom has never been here before but look at how cute this is so we are diehard gringos fans but we're really excited to try this out and hopefully I can give you guys more recommendations for where to eat when you go to Glacier okay so this is blue blue say hello Hi, Blue. So another update, Josephine's here. We went inside and they actually don't start serving food until three. I really liked what they had available, but they're definitely more geared towards alcohol than food. Like the only food options they had were like tapas. I'm glad that we stopped in though, because mm -hmm. they were super nice at Josephine's and they were really apologetic. They said that food normally starts at two, but because they're short staffed, it's uh, they weren't bringing out food till three and it's like 1.30 right now. So yeah, let's go check out Bax. Slow Hopefully it's good. different day and we're back in Glacier National Park and I just want to show you what we're looking at and explain why I'm in a bathrobe but this is Lake McDonald 
and I just took some photos with the help of my mom. <laughs> so I'll put them over here on the side. They are for a jewelry campaign. And I wanted to tell you guys about Lake McDonald because I kind of think like this is almost kind of like the heart of the park almost. So. Yeah. Yeah. There's also Logan Pass, which is where we're going to today. But when you first enter Glacier National Park, like the entrance is like that way. This is kind of like the first major stop in the park. And honestly, if you're not like a huge hiker or if you're not really into like really, really getting into the woods, this is just like a really, really nice place where you can like experience nature. They also do, don't they do like boat rides and stuff too? Yes, absolutely. Um, there's Glacier Park um, Boat Company. They do tours on um, four, five different lakes here can in you the rent, park. Can you rent kayaks or could you bring your own kayaks? Uh, you can do both. Okay. You can, yeah, you can definitely rent kayaks here or um, bring your own. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's, yeah, I mean, right now it'd be an amazing time to be out on that. It's a little cold though. I think it's 39 right now. So I'm in, <laughs> I'm in this bathroom because I just took the photos that I was telling you guys, or that I showed you earlier on the screen. So be sure to follow me over on my Instagram if you haven't already so you can see all the Montana photos. But it is just so gorgeous. I think I actually vlogged this place in my winter vlog mm -hmm. um, because in the winter time when the park is pretty much entirely inaccessible because of snow, you can still come to this pier. But as you can see, there's just some nice mist rolling in. It's just so pretty. So we are actually gonna go drive up to Logan Pass, which is kind of like the second most popular spot in the park, I would say, which is look how pretty. So actually, this is my mom's idea. She's gonna be not looking at the camera because she's gonna be <laughs> driving, but she wanted me to show you guys Apgar Village. So as I said, when you first pull in to Glacier National Park, you pretty much can right away get into Apgar Village. It's kind of like, like I said, the first main stop along the way. So as you can see, there is like places where you can get food and groceries. Like maybe if you're staying at a campsite nearby, there's campsites in the area. Um, you can also bring your own boat to the dock area. My what is this? Oh yeah, this is a really Canada. awesome gift store. And then, so here's the kayak rentals that we were talking about earlier and looks like another gift store over there. But as you can see, I think it is it is 821 and there's already a decent amount of people. We do normally come into the park earlier if we like really want to do like a, a legit like early morning trip where we're like experiencing like totally minimal crowds. But because I had to take photos today at Lake McDonald and the sun doesn't rise until like 7.30 in the park, we came a bit later than we normally would so I know I talked about this a little bit yesterday but if you are like really really trying to be like the one of the first people on the trail and you don't want to have like you don't want to deal with crowds you don't want to deal with parking especially in the busier season like in July June and July and August like late June July August you really need to be in the park at like like six maybe even like like I would say be like <laughs> there's been times when my mom and I have been on the trailhead like as the sun's rising and it's worth it if you're if you're into that if you don't really care so much about being like the first person on the trail I would say still try to get here in the morning but just expect that some days will be a lot more busy than others especially if the weather is good so yeah as I said we are now headed back up to Logan Pass we did drive past Logan Pass yesterday when we were on going to the Sun Road and I'll put a map here on the side if I haven't already put a map here in the video but basically Glacier National Park has like one main road there's actually only one road that cuts all the way through the park and Logan Pass is like at the top of that road I guess it's like kind of the halfway point are currently at Logan Pass and as I mentioned at Lake McDonald earlier we started today a bit later than we normally would have if our intention was to have no issues with parking have minimal people and so we're currently at the Logan Pass parking lot and we've only been here for like two minutes but it doesn't like parking is just non-existent there was a sign showing that the parking lot was full so they do keep the status of the parking lot updated but my mom and i have basically decided if we can't find a spot which i don't i think we're leaving now 
Um, it's okay because we've done Logan Pass so many times and because I am going to be coming back here later this trip but closer to sunset to take some photos there. So that is something that I do want to bring up. Like, I not to sound like a, I don't know, not to sound really hardcore, but if you really do want to have absolutely no parking issues, my recommendation is to get to the trail as early as you possibly can. Um, I think, so right now it is 9.30, and when my mom did this Logan Pass hike, or the Hidden Lake hike at Logan that starts at Logan Pass, with my brother, like last week, they were getting off the trail at 9.30. So I think you said you started at 6, maybe? We got to Logan Pass at 6.30. So they got to Logan Pass at 6.30. And so the that's parking was already uh, 75% full. Okay, so the parking was already 75% full at Logan Pass at 6.30, and that's before the sun even rises. So if you really need like some kind of benchmark to like navigate, you know, when you want to get to a trailhead, try to get there at sunrise at the latest. Actually, while I'm talking, I'm just going to turn you around and show you how like beautiful this is. Um, so we're not too bummed out that we didn't make it to Logan Pass, but I will be going later in this vlog by myself and I'll be vlogging that experience so you can see it. But Logan Pass, as I said, is probably one of the most popular places in the park, if not the most sought after place in the park to hike because there's like a nice little like well worn, not well worn, there's a nice like really accessible sort of wooden board situation where you don't really need to um, be a, a super excellent hiker to go on there and you can also hike to like the Hidden Lake Overlook, sorry I know the lighting is really bad right now, but you can hike to Hidden Lake Overlook, you can hike to um, actually all the way down to Hidden Lake and I'll be putting photos on the side here of what I'm talking about so you understand better but we're just gonna kind of play by ear and see what we get up to today. So I'll keep you guys updated. Okay, so we have stopped on the side of the road. We're at Lunch Creek. And basically Lunch Creek is like just past Logan Pass and we've stopped here before but I think that's when we were first here in like 2016 maybe mm -hmm. and it's it's nice it's not like a major hike but we just want to do something and we don't really have like an agenda so boom Lunch Creek <laughs> and I understand that not everyone is that's watching this or that's interested in visiting Glacier is probably that into like doing major hikes like my mom and I are used to. So something that is nice about Glacier is maybe if you're with someone who is not a big hiker or can't hike or um, maybe you're just like, you pressed for time, <laughs> we're going into the woods. Um, then going to the Sun Road is really nice because you can just like pull out anywhere and there'll be little spots like this. So, not sure where my mom is taking me. There she goes. <laughs> but yeah, I will show you kind of what we end up getting up to. Well, it is all of 30 seconds later. Typically we do much more like over 10 miles like really really intense hikes but that wasn't really the goal of this trip so and i will say lunch creek isn't like a recommendation of mine <laughs> um but again if you're just someone who wants to get out into nature and see some stuff that's like really easy to get to there you have it
guys, it is a few hours later and I am at the Whitefish Farmer's Market with my mom again. I'm basically just hanging out with my mom this like whole trip, which is totally valid. But I just wanted to show you guys really quickly what we are eating and then I'll tell you all about the farmer's market. But we just went to the Fat Wombat and Fat with the PH and we got a pickled bowl, I think it's called. And this is like a burrito bowl. But the Fat Wombat, it's actually right over there, that pink food truck. Um, it's kind of like a healthier food option, I would say, like a lot of like whole vegetables and stuff like that. But basically the Whitefish Farmer's Market is more of a summer event and it happens every Tuesday starting at five. And I'm sure you can hear the live music in the background, but ever since we moved here as a family in like 2016, we have been like actively going to this farmer's market as often as possible. They also saw, I saw they do a harvest market. I don't know that one. I saw there was a sign that shows that they do a harvest market as well. So I don't, I guess that's in the fall. Um, but if you are like, anywhere near whitefish and you enjoy eating out and having like really interesting culinary experiences i would highly recommend coming to the farmer's market they do have food trucks they also have really awesome like gifting tents i guess where they do like artwork and like different like whitefish mementos and they also obviously have a farmer's market where my mom will sometimes pick up like fresh meats and produce and veggies and stuff like that so would highly highly recommend if you are in whitefish you have to come to the farmer's market if you're here on a Tuesday afternoon and you have nothing else going on um, it's just really fun and it makes you really get like a sense of what it's like to be in downtown and I've realized on this trip I don't think I've really showed you guys downtown but I'll go ahead and link my last video from being here if I haven't already my winter vlog because we definitely spent a lot of time showing you downtown whitefish in that vlog so I'm gonna go ahead and dig in because this looks super super yummy but I will be checking in tomorrow for a day with a lot more activity than today probably so see you then Good morning guys, happy Thursday. And you might be wondering, Caitlin, why are you in a parking lot in a bathrobe with full makeup on? And that is because today I am on a bit of a solo photo mission and I am currently in the Logan Pass parking lot. So I'm <laughs> being very careful to watch for cars, mom, if you're watching this, cause I know you'll totally be watching this. And I just wanted to give a little bit of advice because we have been trying to get to Logan Pass for the past few days here. So I arrived to Logan Pass this morning to this parking lot at 7.20 and I would say it was probably like 75% of the way full and this is September like 17th I think, <laughs> I think I'm filming this. so. If you're not familiar and if I didn't explain it well enough already, Logan Pass is kind of like the main part of the park that most people try to come to when they visit. So I'm gonna show you the parking lot really quickly. So I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see it, but cars are definitely still coming in. I think it's about 8 a.m. now. Um, <laughs> even though I got here at 7.20, I did my makeup in the car and I also realized that I forgot part of my tripod, but I think I'll make it work. So I'm not actually gonna be hiking all the way to Hidden Lake today because clearly I'm in a bathrobe. I'm just here for some photos on the walkway. And I'm kind of out of breath because it is really high up here. I'll put the elevation of where I am right now on the screen. But yeah, come with me and let's get some photos at Logan Pass. So the end goal for most people that go to 
Logan Pass is Hidden Lake. And I have only hiked up to Hidden Lake Overlook. I've never actually been down to the lake. But like I said, today I am not doing the full hike. It's literally 39 degrees. I'm wearing like athletic shoes, <laughs> a bathrobe with a dress underneath. I don't know if it was made super clear in the vlog footage yesterday, but we tried to come up here and it actually ended up hailing. So for me, today is all about photos. I have six outfits that I need to shoot and I figured I would take this opportunity to take you guys with me and you guys can hopefully get a better idea of what you can see in the park. Okay, so I need to show you guys how my tripod set up right now because I forgot the piece that connects my camera to my tripod, but luckily I still got the images that I want to. But <laughs> look at this. If you've seen my videos before, you'll know that this is my vlogging tripod. Basically, I forgot the piece that connects this camera up here, but I was able to figure it out and I got some photos that I really, really liked. So I'll put some over here on the side so you can check them out. But I will say right now it is super icy. I've seen quite a few people fall. So I showed you guys earlier that I'm literally just wearing like athletic shoes. Actually, right now, I don't know if you've been able to see that, but I'm actually barefoot to take the photos that I just took. But it is really icy. So if you are going to do Logan Pass or the Hidden Lake hike anytime, like it's going to be like 39 degrees or colder like it is right now wear proper hiking shoes or bring hiking sticks or something because I've seen people fall already this morning but the sun is out as I'm sure you're able to tell and because it's shining so brightly on me but I'm so happy with how the photos turned out I'm not gonna lie I was pretty upset with myself that I forgot my tripod or like the piece of my tripod that I need to use my camera but I just kept a positive attitude and thought okay no I'm not just gonna turn around and go home how can I fix this so just a little reminder if you're traveling or just in general in life there's always a way Way to fix something or I don't know get over it but go ahead and check me out over on my Instagram if you haven't already because I will have a full Montana feed and again I know I've mentioned this so many times but my blog post detailing everything that I know from visiting the park and living here in Whitefish slash Glacier National Park I don't live in the park I live in Whitefish my parents do um, but all everything that I've learned will be detailed in that blog post down below so actually you know what I'm just gonna focus on getting down safely and then I'll check in with you guys at our next stop thing just happened I think I just got probably one of my top three like super close animal encounters here in Glacier National Park and if you're a wildlife photographer please don't criticize me too harshly I'll put the photo my favorite photo that I got over here but I came so close to a I believe it's a mountain goat I know it's not a bighorn sheep I believe it's just like a goat <laughs> and I've seen quite a few of them in Glacier National Park but none this close. I was, I think it's cause I was the only person on like that metal walkway. And I do know that, I don't even know what like the actual term for this metal walkway is or the actual name for it, but it's right before you get to Logan Pass. And I know in previous years when I've been here with like family, we've seen wildlife like on the road, but not like that up close. So I'm pretty mind blown right now. I'm gonna change to my next outfit. A little bit exhilarated, still having fun. So I'll see you guys at the next location. Hi again, this location, as I turn you around might actually look familiar because I was here earlier this trip. I took a photo. I'm not sure how well the camera's going to pick it up, but if you can see those kind of orangey little plants there, that's called fireweed. I took a photo like with that in the foreground and this in the background, but it was a slightly different angle. It was kind of more tipped this way. So now I want to get a photo kind of more this way. I'm going to go ahead and take that photo now. I hope you guys are finding this vlog interesting. It's just kind of the reality of trying to get multiple photos in the park and it's on a beautiful blue sky day so stay tuned through the rest of this vlog i forgot to mention that today is actually my last full day here in montana so i'm trying to pack in as much as i can and i'm definitely going to be going out with my family later tonight my brother and my sister-in-law so stay tuned for that and thank you for watching up to this point
friends. Let me actually face the sun so you can see me better. I am currently along the side of Lake McDonald. I believe I'm on the east side. The side that the road's on. I don't know why my brain is so fuzzy right now. Actually, I do know why because I woke up at four. But I wanted to get a shot of me in this blue workout outfit standing in some water. And it is just amazing. You can probably hear the little waves in the background. Normally, I prefer like McDonald when it is completely flat and like more like a mirror. But you know what? I, this is my last day that I had to take photos and I'm just gonna make the most of it and keep a positive attitude and just be excited that I'm here to take photos rather than in San Diego where I live. So, not that there's anything wrong in San Diego, but yeah, I'm gonna pop the photo here. But I know that I've mentioned this a lot or I'm, I've been catering to this audience a lot, but I know that not everyone is like a really, really hardcore hiker and that's fine, you don't need to be, but if you wanna come to Glacier National Park and you're not down to hike, I know I've mentioned this several times whether it's driving along going to the Sun Road and like pulling out at like lookout spots and stuff or just chilling over here on the beach of Lake McDonald definitely come to Glacier if you get a chance I just find that everywhere I look it is so magical I've been coming here every summer since 2016 when my family moved to Whitefish and I just can't get enough of it I'm excited to come back every single time yeah I'll see you at the next location here I'm sure the last footage that you saw was like a weird compilation of my family and I drinking <laughs> I'm definitely tipsy right now I'm not gonna lie but I really need to end the vlog here claps for me for being responsible and ending the vlog here because tomorrow I am flying to Colorado for my best friend's wedding thank you so much for watching up to this point I'm gonna mention for the final time the blog posts there's gonna be two now i've thought about it more that's my brother who i just went uh to do alcohol with anyway alcohol. <laughs> um there's gonna be two blog posts down below i'm thinking about it. the more i've been thinking about on this trip i'm gonna make one dedicated to all of the hikes in the park that i've done that i can personally recommend or even some that i haven't done that, like i know people that have done them and also the other blog post is gonna be like how to spend like a week in Whitefish slash Glacier National Park. Wow, I cannot believe that I made it through the words Glacier National Park without slurring, unless I did slur. I don't know. But anyway, thank you so much for watching the vlog up to this point. I know it's been a little bit chaotic because guess what? Life happens and the weather was not as great as I wanted it to be. And I also wanted to focus on family time because that was kind of part of the reason why I came to Montana. I'm sure I mentioned this already in the vlog, but uh, my brother got married and there was like a party and I don't know why I'm talking about this now, but anyway. If you like this vlog, please go ahead and subscribe down below. I have just passed 600 subscribers and I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. And I would love it if you haven't subscribed already to help me to get to 1000 subscribers because I do this full time and it would really help me to start making a little bit of money from YouTube. I'm just gonna be honest. My husband said I should just be honest with you guys. So um, yeah, if you could subscribe down below if you haven't already, please do so. I typically post travel, fashion, lifestyle content. It would be amazing if you could subscribe down below and go ahead and follow me over at my Instagram, at Caitlin Mahina. I'm gonna be posting all of my Montana content over there. And then I'm gonna be posting content from Southern California, some like fall content, you know, in October. It's gonna be like an orange feed. 
you got the inside scoop here. This is so crazy. I can tell that I'm like way too lit to be filming this, but you know what? Maybe it'll be fun for you guys to watch this. Um, so what did I say? I asked you to please subscribe. Thank you. I asked you to please follow me on Instagram. Thank you for doing so. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I will see you on the next video.